Welcome to BTEC Bite Size, the Tick Award series, focusing on animal care. Today's session is giving best practice guidance for animal handling. Correct handling and restraining methods should be demonstrated throughout all clips provided for the Pearson set assignment, especially for component one. The handling restraining method will depend on the species. However, there are some good practice guidance that should be considered for all species. In the specification, component one, part B3, covers appropriate handling restraining techniques as shown on the screen. Learners should demonstrate these points when handling restraining an animal and include being aware of the animal's head and limb position at all times. Supporting the animal's upper and lower body as necessary. This means not allowing the animal's limbs to hang loose or for the animal to feel unsupported. Ensure the animal's breathing is unrestricted. Reduce the animal's stress levels by behaving appropriately. Have two or more people involved when working with larger animals or those with more complex needs. Equipment should be fit for purpose, used correctly and be appropriate for the animal. This involves taking into consideration the species, the size, age, temperament, the reason for handling and potential hazards and risks. Furthermore, in the specification, component 1, part B2 covers appropriate personal protective equipment, as shown on the screen. We go into further detail regarding good practice for personal protective equipment in another bite-sized session. However, it is important to highlight the last section, which covers the safe behaviour and links to hazards and risks associated with handling and restraining animals. When handling any animal, it's important that learners are behaving calmly and quietly to ensure they do not cause any additional stress to the animal. It's also good practice to ensure long hair is tied back and piercings are removed or covered. It is also recommended that if your learner is wearing a lanyard that this is removed before handling. Learners need to be aware that by doing these points of good practice they are following the Animal Welfare Act 2006 and the five animal needs which sit within this legislation. Thank you for listening to this session which is part of the BTEC Bite Size Tech Award series.